ready to see how to use a mock-up in Cricut Design Space? Okay, well, here we go. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is upload your mock-up image. So go to Upload an Image, browse for the file that you'd like to use. I'm going to use this Canvas Makeup Bag image. This is a mock-up that's in the Spring and Summer Mock-up Bundle on Sofancy. And we're going to choose complex because we want to keep all the detail in this design. Click continue. Um, once we get here, I like to zoom out because it really does just um, really pull you zoomed in for the detail of the image, but I can see it from here. So this looks good. I do not want to remove any parts of the image or erase anything. Okay, so now we want to make sure we save as a print and cut image. And I like to rename everything that I upload so it doesn't have numbers and letters that I can't decipher later. So uh, makeup bag mockup is this one here. So my tags for that would be mockup. Click save. Okay, so we wait for this then to upload to our canvas. Once it's uploaded, just um, grab that and insert it into your canvas. This is a very large file. It's like over 27 inches wide. So it will just take a moment for it to place it on the canvas and then we will resize it um, just because it's not necessary for it to be that large. Um, hold on just one moment. There we go. Okay, so let's go up here, lock the, um, make sure the proportions are locked. And we're just gonna change this so it's 12 inches wide. Okay, so that makes it only eight inches high. Much better, easier for us to work with. Okay, so then the next thing you wanna do is grab your design. Um, I've already uploaded it. It's these uh, two little lovebirds, so cute part of the uh, wedding SVG and font bundle currently on Sofancy. Um, the designs in here are so cute. I just, I adore this one with the little birds. Okay, so let's re grab the corner here where the arrow is and resize this down. Let's kind of um, turn it a little bit so it is working with the size of this little makeup bag. Um, just keep in mind when you're using some of these mock-ups, you could lose the detail in the design um, when you make things smaller and larger. So you can see that the uh, little pieces of the feathers there are a little bit different, but you can get the general idea. We could even make this larger. Um, we could select all of this here and just kind of make it bigger so you can see it. It's really cute. Oh, there we go. Okay, it needed to catch up with me. I'm going too fast. Okay, so you can see how easy that was. You just make sure the design layer is on the top and the mock-up layer is on the bottom. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you can save this. Um, so I would just put uh, Lovebirds uh, Makeup Bag Mock-up and save that project and then okay so i i save it to the cloud and computer um but i what i wanted to say is that uh sometimes people have issues with saving the files in here and such well because i am working on a uh, mac i use my screen cra um, capture and just uh, would capture this as an image, save it, and then use it for wherever it needed to be used. Uh, because I like to keep the project saved so that I can go back and maybe resize them for different websites or depending on where I'm selling my designs. Okay, so uh, hopefully this will show you how easy it is in Design Space to do mock-ups. You could do this with any image. So upload your image, upload the design, layer them. Um, you can add text, like if you wanted to add some text here that just said uh, designed uh, by my shop, you know, and or put your logo, you know, whatever you'd like to do. And then you could save it this way. And all of your information is here. You can keep coming back and using this as a template, just replacing the design. Um, so simple and 
mock-ups increase sales. So if you're a designer, you should be using mock-ups for all of your designs because viewers and potential buyers want to see what they want to visualize what something is going to look like. So it's much easier to sell something when someone can imagine how they would actually apply it to their own projects. Um, and tutorials are even better. That shows them too. So do a quick tutorial on how to use your product to apply. This is HTV uh, heat transfer vinyl on t-shirts or bags or hats or whatever medium you're using. But if you can show people how to use your designs, then they are more apt to purchase your design. So that should be what you take away from mock-ups. Um, but I hope you um, found all of this helpful and please check out all of our links underneath our videos and subscribe to the So Fancy YouTube channel because we do have a lot of tutorials and projects that are always in the works and lots more coming your way. So thank you and have a great day.